Hi, this is a video on the lay pin or stroke Y Tang YT-9928 and this is a selfie stick tripod. Now, I bought this off Amazon for $16.99. Now, under Amazon, they do, they do not call it the wine Yun Tang at all. They don't call it that. Under Amazon, they call it the Y pin selfie all in one selfie stick tripod at 40 inches extendable. So that's what they call it on Amazon UK. But obviously, Y Yun Ting actually makes it. I'll quickly go around the box. It shows you the picture of the selfie stick and this has a Bluetooth shutter remote with it as well. Most of it is in Japanese, there's, uh, sorry, in Chinese. There is a few uh, English um, words on there, but just basically telling you that it's a wine, choose wine tang 228 tripod and love travel. That's what's written on the side here. Um, these, these are Amazon stickers, so just ignore them. You have, but basically at the very front, you have the same picture of the selfie stick tripod with a phone and Yung Tang as well, again. So I repeat again, once again, under Amazon, it is called the Lei Pin, which is spelled L-E-Y-P-I-N. Um, selfie stick tripod so they've got it like that on the Amazon now this is what you get in the box we get first of all we get the actual selfie stick with the tripod legs and I'll go into that later on because this has um, two other functions on there um, what it can do um, we have the phone holder we have a USB, USB to micro USB cable and it is a very short cable. It's not very long, it's just over six inches long, so it's a short cable. We have the Yun Teng. I take it that must be a certificate of, um, a certificate of the product there but it's all in Chinese we have a little kind of user manual yeah and then we have a, another kind of manual user manual about the actual Bluetooth um, shutter button on there but I'll get into that because most of it is in Chinese there is a little bit of English when you open it up inside it is in English there, but it is such, I will come on to that because it's really tricky with that um, particular shutter button. Now, when you get it and take it out, the shutter button has its own cradle on one of the legs here, as you can see, and they invert, they put it back to front. So what you do is you just slightly pull on the top and you can switch the shutter button round and place it back in so you get it like that. The construction of the, let's go through the construction of it. The legs are plastic, made of a hard plastic um, with rubber feet on the bottom. As you can see, with rubber feet on the bottom. The actual stem of the selfie stick is made of metal and it contains a groove down the middle of it for obviously to give it more strength. At the top, we have an adjustable kind of ball head um, at the top. Now, the whole of this is made out of plastic, including the actual uh, platform of the ball head is made out of plastic as well. We have a release um, locking screw here 
for the bore head um, to uh, lock it into place and we have a mirror which is supposed to be your selfie stick mirror at the front and I, now to me these are a complete waste of time I don't really use these they're a complete waste of time because the selfie stick is that far further uh, far from you anyway you're like a little dot in this mirror so it's a complete waste of time um, as I says, the construction of the bore head is, is mainly plastic. The actual uh, stem is metal and the legs are plastic. Now, the unique thing about with this selfie stick is the actual gripping of this selfie stick. Now, it is a quite of a big grip. I've got medium sized hands and it's kind of a very thick grip. There's no particular rubber actually on the legs itself, only at the bottom. And these actual legs, how they're placed on this selfie stick here, reminds me of the Manfrotto Pixie. So if you've ever seen the Manfrotto Pixie tripod, it's basically a kind of copy of that. So that's what they're going for here. Uh, in the way how it f uh, holds and looks, it's a copying the Manfixi, Manfrotto, sorry, Pixie. Now the top, at the top now, they've done this in a way that um, you can mount not only the phone mount, which is here, uh, not only the phone mount you can mount on there, but you can mount a GoPro or action camera on there as well. So as long as you've got the, as you can see, as long as you've got the tripod mount, because you, you do not get that with the box at all. So you don't get that with the, inside the box at all. You get that separate. Um, you have to buy that separate. Um, so you can mount an action camera. Now you can mount compact cameras on this as well. Um, mirrorless cameras. It all depends on the weight of the mirrorless camera. Um, looking on the instructions, it doesn't really tell you what's so up to what size um, mirrorless camera can go on there at all. Um, but it does state on the on the Amazon page that it can take up to digital cameras. But I will say. If your camera weighs more than say 300 grams, I personally wouldn't put it on there, but that's me. So well, what I'll do is I'll mount the, I'll show you what the, the phone mount looks like. Now this is the phone mount and we have a quarter inch thread here at the, uh, at the bottom. Uh, female thread and this phone mount folds down quite flat it opens out and it's not spring loaded like other um, self stick mounts this one is uses a screw to extend it for the width that you want now I've tried in this um, mount my iPhone 7 Plus and it fits in there no problem so I would say any of the Plus phones any of the Max phones any of the Note phones will fit in here because my wife's Note phone does fit in this um, mount so you'll be all right with that and as I says um, one thing I do like it uses a screw to clamp down more than a spring. So I'll put that on there and it has the Wantang logo on the back and it has rubber inserts at the top and at the bottom to grip your phone. Okay, now to set up the shutter button to the phone, this was really tricky out of all the Bluetooth selfie sticks I have reviewed. This one is the trickiest. Even though I have reviewed 
other selfie sticks with the same kind of generic um, shutter button like this. I don't know if the gizmos in here or the circuitry in this one, it was very, very tricky. First of all, on other Bluetooth shutter remotes, you hold down the main camera button, which you can see there. You hold down that and this light should post a flash, um, either blue and red or constantly flash red or flash blue. This one, when you switch it on from the side, because it has a button here, a switch at the side for off and on. So you switch it on and you hold down this, the light does not change, it still flashes. So I was thinking, I wonder if you have to use any of these two top buttons, which is normally the zoom and zoom out buttons at the top. They do not work neither. What I did find was, the moment, the moment when you get this new and you switch this on, to pair it to your phone, first of all, you go to your Bluetooth settings on your phone here. If it's an iPhone, it will be already in search. If it's an Android phone, you have to put it into search. You switch on this by pushing this button up here to switch that on. So that will switch that on. And as you can see, you could just about see it on the camera. It should post the flash, but it hasn't flashed. Right, and it's connected anyway. But when you first switch this on, it will flash blue. Do not put your finger on the button. Do not do that. It will find it, it will take time. It, take, it took roughly 20 seconds to find it with an iPhone. So with this iPhone, it took 20 seconds to actually find it and it will come up as one tang, yun tang, it will come up. Then you press connect. So do not press this button. You don't need to. Just switch it on when you first get it. Let the, but let the light flash and then put this into pairing mode, um, your Bluetooth on. After 20 seconds, it will find it. So that was the tricky part with this. Once it's found it, you connect to it, that's it, it's connected. There is no automatic shut off with this um, shutter button at all. No automatic shut off whatsoever. You have to manually switch it off. So if you're not using it after a while, you can manually switch. You have to use the button at the side here, um, uh, pull it down to the off position, it switches it off. Now I've connected, as you can see, I connected now the phone holder onto the ball head as you can see, and as I showed you in the pre, and as I showed you in the video earlier on, it's just a screw thread, a quarter inch screw thread, male to quarter inch um, thread, female on the phone mount. So I screwed that on. Now the ball head, you have to unlock it, straighten that up. If you want it in a straight position, otherwise, as I says, you can simply untwist that just one turn, half a turn and you can simply maneuver the bore head to the cutout groove that's in there. And that's how you get your kind of angle shot selfie like that. Now I'll extend the, I'll extend the selfie stick and tell you the actual, and tell you the actual length. Sorry about that. <laughs> and tell you the actual length of what this extends to. Now the actual length, and I'll try and get this all into the shot. I hope I can try and get it back. I've got to go way, way back. That's it. Now between this finger up here and this finger down here, it is 31 inches long. It extends to 31 inches long. And this is probably, I think it's probably one of my third longest selfie sticks. Um, selfie tripod selfie sticks that I've reviewed which is actually that long so it's 31 inches long it extends to now it does say on the Amazon page that it extends up to 40 inches now my guess is the 40 inches they're including the top of this 
the top of the phone holder um, to the bottom of the legs. But um, when I'm reviewing these, I always go by the actual length of the actual extension stick or pole. I go by that. I always go by that between them two points because really you're holding the bottom and the top is just holding the camera. So you're only getting a couple more inches and that's it. So that's what I go by. The pole construction, I, kind, I like. It's in a matte black finish and it has a groove that's quite uh, in, um, embossed on the inside the middle of it, in the middle of it, and that's for strength. So you know it can take um, a, a fairly we a heavy weight um, phone or camera. But as I says, personally, if you're gonna put a mirrorless camera on this, I would, if it's more than about say 300 to 350 grams, depending what lens you put on there, I would stick to compact cameras to go on this and your phone and obviously your GoPro action cameras more or less your DLSR cameras to fit onto this because I really personally don't think it's for that. So now we'll test with the shutter button. And here's the fiddly tr shutter button. Now these two buttons just do the same as the shutter button. They don't make no difference. They can't zoom into your picture, um, zoom in. They can't zoom in while you're taking a photograph and you can't zoom out. So they're just basically the same as the main button. Now, if I press it, hopefully it should work. And it hasn't worked. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna re, oh, it's just, an, and there's a bit of a delay with it. It does work. I've just, for a minute there, I thought it wasn't gonna work, but it does work. So I'll press it again to show you. There it takes a picture, so it doesn't mute the sound of the phone with the shutter button, that's quite good. So I'll put it into video mode and let's we'll see what happens. That's it, starts it and ends it. Now I'll just for the for the video, I'll press the plus one side and let's see what happens. See, it just starts the video and ends the video. And the same with the minus, starts the video and ends the video. So these two buttons up there, what look like plus and minuses, which is really for on other phones, it normally does the zoom and zoom out. Um, with this particular remote, it does not work on phones at all. It may work, with an Android phone, I do not know. I try to um, I tried to set it up on an Android phone, which is a Note, on my wife's phone, and that was a bit tricky. And I had to admit, um, they kind of worked, and then all of a sudden, it just didn't work. So you may be lucky, and it probably worked for your phone, but for mine, it did not work. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put a GoPro camera on there. Now this is how it looks with a GoPro camera on there. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be a GoPro camera. If you've got any of the um, Chinese or Japanese action cameras, um, I can't think of them off my top of the head at the present moment, which have a built-in thread quarter inch thread, uh, which most of them do have, you can just simply um, attach it to the uh, selfie stick and that's no problem. But with a GoPro, obviously you don't have a quarter inch thread on there. You have to buy the frame. You have to get it, get, get the frame and also get the tripod mount. But that's how it looks with an action camera on there. And the same principle applies. If you want to angle it, you can either angle it with using the tripod mount here or, or just simply turn the, the locking screw here, just, just a slight quarter turn, and then you can angle your camera wherever you want to angle it to. Now, just like with some other um, previous um, 
phone, uh, selfie sticks. The mount that you get here for the camera, uh, for your phone camera, does not turn from landscape to portrait. It doesn't do that. So I'll put the camera, I'll put the phone, sorry, back on there to show you. Now, my phone's back on there. Now I'll show you, it doesn't turn, so there's no turn on here. So you get it in a standard landscape, holds your phone in landscape. Now, if you want a portrait shot, it's the same again. You're gonna have to, and I'll just, let me just fix the phone on there. Now, that's your landscape. If you want a portrait um, shot with this uh, particular selfie stick, you're going to have to turn. That's it. You're going to have to turn the phone. So you're going to have to turn the whole selfie stick like that. So for portrait shots, you're going to have to turn the selfie stick. You cannot turn the phone mount. The phone mount can't be turned. It's just simply placed in landscape. So if you want a portrait, you're going to have to turn the whole entire selfie stick to get a portrait shot. Now, this is how it looks when it's fully extended and with the tripod legs out. And obviously with, I've got my phone, uh, iPhone SE on there. Now that's how it looks. Now, personally, this is only good for indoors. I would not place this outdoors. I know it, it, when you order it, it says for outdoors and blah, blah, blah. Um, but personally, because the reason why I would not take this outside, if there's a slight breeze, I will guarantee this thing will go over. It will just literally tip over. So if you are going to use it outside, I'll just bring, what I'd say is bring a piece of string with you so you can tether it, which you can tie a piece of string there and then tie it to either a chair leg or a table or a post. So if the wind does blow, it will keep stop it from blowing over and the and the reason why I say that is there have been others um, selfie stick tripods that are reviewed which sit on a wider uh, base if you know what I mean what I'm saying is when the legs are spread out they spread out more so it gives more of a kind of um, sturdiness to the actual tripod um, to the actual selfie stick, but this I've extended the legs out and it's just barely wider than my hand itself. So I've extended it out and it's just barely wider than my hand. So it's got a narrow, it sits on a very narrow uh, base, basic, basically. So for indoors, no problem. If you're doing this for indoors, it's no problem because obviously you're not getting a slight breeze. You're not getting any breeze. So indoors, it's perfect. But for outdoors, I personally would not trust this outside. But for a selfie stick, the, it is, it's not too bad for an actual um, selfie stick in its own right. But as for a tripod selfie stick, not for outdoors, indoors, on top of a table, on top of a desk or a unit, that's great, no problem. But because of the narrow footing underneath, it'd be absolutely, um, I would not trust it outside. So I'll give the actual measurement from the ground to the top. And you are getting 40 inches. So as it states in the advert on Amazon about this selfie stick, it is 40 inches from the ground to the top. It is 40 inches. But um, I would just not, me personally, would not trust this outside. Okay, my thoughts stroke conclu conclusion about the lay pin stroke one tang or one tongue <laughs> if I can get that right I'll be getting it right but anyway um, selfie stick is 
I like the general construction um, of this selfie stick, even though it is plastic, uh, obviously plastic. Um, it's a hard plastic. The construction is fair, I'd say fair. The actual stem is great. So the actual stem of the selfie stick is absolutely great. Very robust. I like how it's in the black. That's just great. The legs are on the so-so because they don't spread out very wide. They don't spread out very wide at all. It has a very narrow base. So for indoor use with this selfie stick tripod, it'd be brilliant. But for outdoors, you'd have to tether this. You're gonna have to tether it because the slightly, slightest bit of breeze and because of your phone is so wide, it will just blow this over. It will just be blown over. So when it comes to that, for outdoor use, I would give this one a miss. For indoor use, brilliant. So if you're going on holiday and it's in a lot of indoor places you're going into, um, such as you know, museums, art galleries, etc., cetera, um, brilliant thing to take, indoor use, no problem. Outdoor use, I wouldn't bother. Um, the construction of the mount, absolutely like that. I like that it's not spring loaded. It's actually a clamp that you can just screw down to your phone. Extra security, extra grip for your phone. That's brilliant. So that's no problem. I also like that it's got the three quarter inch fret on there. So you can put your action camera on there. I like that as well. That's quite good. The bore head is because it's plastic. It's a bit so-so, but it does its job. How long it would do its job for is another thing. When you're dealing with plastic bore heads, one thing I do know, after a time, they do tend to wear down. They wear down and it's not grippy anymore. So it all depends how long that will last and how often you use it. So just be, be aware of the bore head at the top. But in general, I would say this is a for 16 pounds, I would say I've reviewed better ones than this that cost probably one or two pounds more than this or one or two pounds less than this. I reviewed better. Um, one tang or one tongue does make another one which I have placed on my YouTube channel. I'll try and leave a link up here if I remember. Um, that one to me was more better suited outside. The legs were bigger. It had a bigger footprint uh, when it was extended out. Um, that to me was a solid one for taking outdoors. That was no problem. So all in all, I'd say this is a fair selfie stick tripod. Now, if you had this tripod, or got this tripod, um, selfie stick tripod, please leave a comment down in the comment section below and tell us what you think of it, uh, what problems you had with it, or didn't have any problems with it. Just let us know in the comments down below. Please leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and thanks for watching.